Oh, well, hello and welcome back to my channel, Music Game News. I hope that everyone is doing great today. My name is Ovela, I am your host, Ovela, and man, oh man, when people told me that Putu Maidea had a uh, performance of the song Creep, I was like, this is the perfect combination because I reacted to Putu Maidea. She was part of the batch of Vietnamese uh, contestants that sang Talking to the Moon in their own way. Uh, on the uh, X Factor Indonesia 2021 and, and and she was last by the way she went last and man she blew me away and she was my favorite um, you know contestant in that batch so when they told me that she sang creep bro I was like this is the perfect marriage because I love 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 the song creep and I was so pleasantly surprised by her vocal uh, type you know she has such an interesting texture to her voice I was like I have to react to it all right so this is her performance of creep on the X Factor Indonesia 2021 but before we start consider following me on Instagram at music game news because that is where you can DM me your suggestions there you have it all right let's get to it Okay. Hey, there you go. Creep by Radiohead. Okay, hari ini mau nyanyi lagu apa, May? Creep Radiohead. Oke, silakan. Menarik ya. Oh, check it out. Check it out. Her beanie and my beanie. Same color, baby. Mustardy color. Mm-hmm. I really like how she's dressed. <laughs> I'm expecting her to make this song her own because I've heard so many uh, versions of this song. Like there were some people that created masterpieces with this song on shows, on vocal shows like this one, you know, like American Idol and, and I don't know, was it like America's Got Talent? But basically I saw a lot of uh, recompositions, you know, of this song. So I really want her to make it special to make it her own. In a beautiful world, I wish I was special. So very special. So far, this is an acoustic version of the song because we have a piano and her voice. I wonder if, if it's gonna pick up at the end, if they're gonna include more instruments towards the end, but I doubt it. But like so far, she's singing really well, right? Like she's uh, in tune, no problems. There is emotion behind the way she's singing. But I feel like pre me personally and the judges are looking for more, are looking for that, mm, that X factor, you know, like, Surprises.
delicious. I feel like she complicates her runs towards the end and it's not necessary. I feel like maybe she does it because she is out of breath, but I don't think it's necessary. Like, keep it simple. The, the audio of this video is great, man. I mean, the piano is vibrating into my ears. It feels so rich and full. Okay, um, I like the fact that she gave us a growl there. The fact that she tried to almost whistle, that was a little weak. That was a little weak. Like, she was in tune, but it, it felt a little weak. Okay, I enjoyed it personally. I enjoyed it. But I was expecting something different. I know, I know, it's not good to have expectations. But from what I saw in her completely doing it, doing the song, talking to the moon so differently, you know, like it was such a beautiful surprise. I was expecting her to also change this one, you know, but she kept it why it's similar to the original and I wanted something different but I'm not saying that she sang badly not at all she sang really well in tune you know with a soft voice and everything and honestly I commend her because clearly nothing is rigged here you know she's singing it live her voice sounds raw maybe there's a little bit of reverb that's added to her voice which is okay um, and and she sings great you know she she's such a gr strong singer you know she's not a belter i would not consider her a belter because as soon as she starts belting going a little bit too high her voice gets very thin the issue with this type of singer is that even like her original voice when she sings with her head voice or chest voice the voice is already pretty thin so if you can if you go higher than that it's gonna get even thinner which Eh, I'm not a fan of that, you know. I, ah, man, what I liked about Putu Maidia it was her creativity. So every time she covers a popular song, I expect her to be very creative with it. And I don't feel like she was that creative with Creep. And I was excited because, like I said, I've heard so many renditions of this song. And a lot of other, you know, contestants... Man, we're creative with Creep. So creative that some renditions I prefer to the original song. So that's what I'm saying. But it was still a solid, solid performance. Okay, we're gonna stop here because, you know, they're probably gonna not gonna speak in English, so I don't understand. Uh, you guys can finish uh, the video or maybe you've seen the video already and you can tell me what the judges say in the comment section. Uh, yeah, let me know if she made it through to the next round. I don't know. And was did she perform Creep before she performed uh, Talking to the Moon or after? I'd like the answer to those questions if you don't mind. So there you have it. Uh, thank you so much for joining me as usual. You guys are the best. Take care of yourselves. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you for watching, subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.